Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Baldwin number 5513030. This is a latch bolt that has a convertible removable faceplate. Uh, Baldwin is not the only company that puts together latch bolts like this. Um, it's pretty simple. You, you know, insert the bolt through the preparation in the faceplate then line up the tab like I just did there. You just turn it. Okay, it's a pretty convenient way to allow you to, um, from the factory's perspective, have different faceplates, uh, fin finishes ready to go naturally. And that's just a peel away protective surface on the face of that latch bolt. So this is the 5513-030 uh, passage latch that's going to be intended for the Baldwin Estates. 5513 is 2 and 3 eighths. Edge of the door to the center of the spindle prep on this is 2 and 3 eighths. Okay. A little bit shy on 2 and 3 eighths, but nonetheless, this is 2 and 3 eighths. Uh, this is a passage. Uh, there's no ability to add the threaded post for a privacy function. This is just a passage. This is also going to include a T-strike in the 030 finish. That's going to be 2 and 3 quarter tall. The length of the strike, as you can see, the overall is about an inch and seven eighths or so. Well, that's not the size. Strikes are measured from the center of the hole to the edge of the lip. And this is going to be about an inch and, well, looks like it's about an inch and three eighths. A little bit longer than standard, maybe inch and five sixteenths would be more accurate to call this. That's a standard lip length, about an inch and five sixteenths, inch and a quarter, things in that nature, in that range. Typical uh, passage spindle is included in this package. Overall length, about three and five eighths. A dust box is also included for your two and three quarter T-strike. Screws. Total of four, two for the strike, two for the latch. A template is also included along with installation instructions as well. Uh, this will be for the entire lock, so it'll be in the package uh, when you order it. Now let's switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at some supporting documentation. Just give you a, a fill out your understanding of what this Baldwin latch bolt is. So this is the latch bolt that we're looking at. Passage, lever, it's supposed to be lever strength. That is indeed what we have, lever strength, versus the knob style, or knob strength. One inch wide faceplate is what that's meant to say. Now there's a link here below this video to the manufacturer's page. When that page loads, which is has loaded here, that will allow us to review not only all of the Baldwin products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, as well as link to the manufacturer's website, but also the estate document that's here. And when that document comes up, we'll be able to do a find function on our keyboard for 5513. We're going to find all of the instances of where this latch bolt shows up, but what we're looking for is the table that will show us all of the different latch style uh, styles available uh, from Baldwin for the estate's line. So, two and three eighths. That's what we're looking at first. Pardon me. Forgive me. Start over. I meant to say we're looking at passage latches first versus privacy latches. The difference is here. So passage latch. What back set do you want? Two and three eighths or two and three quarter? Great. What width of faceplate do you want? One inch or inch and an eighth? Great. What trim do you have? Is it a knob or is it a lever? So this client ordering a 5513 has a lever strength, two and three eighths, one inch wide latch bolt. The dot XXX is just the finish and he's doing 030 on this. Uh, is it a he? Yes, it is actually a he. Um, they may be discontinuing 030 and using just an 003 uh, hard to say what they're doing here. 
Obviously the color coding might be an 031 I think is the finish that they're going to go to. I think 031 Okay, 031 is a non-lacquered brass. I would think they're not going to switch to non-lacquered. Uh, and probably just 003 is what it's going to be because that's the lifetime version. Baldwin 003 is, is what they call a lifetime version. So probably ordering this in the future as... So 030 means polished brass. 003 is their lifetime brass. So they may be discontinuing 030 because it's not listed and in the future you might just get 003. Okay. So regardless, now you know how to find the part number. And again, don't be concerned about the .xxx. That's where you put the that is where you put the uh, finish. That's all there is to it. These are all the different codes from Baldwin on their finish codes. And I just simply go to baldwinhardware.com and you'll find their finishes. Um, that's the manufacturer's website directly. Fin okay, finishes right here. And you can scroll down and you'll look at all the finishes here that they have. And you're looking for the three digit number, is what you're looking for. Now, anything else of note on here? Let's take a look. A little drawing of what each back set looks like. Um, interesting though, full lip strike, FLS, this is what I would call a T-strike. I wouldn't call this a full lip strike, I would call it a T-strike. A full lip strike literally is an entire lip of the strike here, here, full lip strike. Um, I imagine that this ought to have been packaged with the FLS because I believe the description calls out a full lip strike. So the fact that this has a T-strike, I can't answer as to why other than it being a mistake that it's in here. But that 5513 that we are looking at here has an FLS. Um, the fact that it wasn't specified by the client, they probably opted to just include the less expensive, but I think they, they packaged the wrong strike by putting that T-strike in there. So be mindful to uh, indicate, please, uh, what strike you want. And these strike codes are here, ASA, uh, T-strike, extended lip T-strike, FLS full lip strike, extended lip full lip, full lip strike as well. Dust box was included. Your spindle was included as well. Okay. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, this is not the, I don't believe this is going to be considered the original uh, latch bolt that Baldwin would have made many years ago. But nonetheless, uh, it's a very high quality product from Baldwin. I'm partial to them because I uh, am a firm. Uh, unabashed fan of their quality of the product line of the technical support every single time that I call over to Baldwin I get uh, exceptional um, support when I call there it's it's for tech support and I have had nothing but stellar responsiveness from them and I have never had to wait for an answer. Every time that I call, uh, either the person who answers the phone or one person past that person can give me a full and detailed answer. I get the impression that the people that work at Baldwin have done so for many, many years. In fact, in the not too distant past, I've spoke to someone about mortise locks from the mid-1970s. And in fact, the client, uh, the uh, tech support uh, gentleman at Baldwin was able to ask me a simple question about the lock body and told me that he was manufacturing those lock bodies in 1976, the year the client believes that the, the home was built and the locks would have been supplied. So the translation of that is the tech support individual knew exactly what I needed um, and was able to save the client a substantial 
uh, investment in new hardware when all that was necessary was a spring because in this mortise bo uh, body the spring crystallized and failed and fatigued and because of an in inconsequential an insignificant occurrence and piece of hardware the two three hundred dollar mortise lock no longer worked but calling over to Baldwin got me someone who very much intimately understood what we needed and was able to send set out a replacement knowing that it would work in fact so that is something that you do not get when you deal with other providers of residential hardware any questions on the Baldwin this is their 5513 and an 030 finish that might be 031 is what it might be in there but if you have any questions on this or any other Baldwin product please feel free to reach out to us and thank you If you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please click subscribe as well and even share the video with someone that you know. And if you have any questions for a future video, please send them our way and we will make every attempt to oblige. And thank you very much.